This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Replication between sites happens across a site link. And the site link, as we've discussed, is really a logical representation of physical links, but it allows us to control that replication that happens between domain controllers. In this demo, we're going to take a look at the sites and services utility and how we can create and configure these site links. Let's start by opening up Active Directory Sites and Services from the Administrative Tools. We've got our two sites in here, our Tampa and Chicago location. And for our example purposes, we're going to create a third site. Right? This third site is going to be a branch office. A branch office uh, is going to be in Las Vegas. And we have to link it to a site. We can't create it unlinked. So for right now, we'll just create it and link it to the Tampa Chicago site link. And we're going to take a domain controller from Chicago, that branch office DC, and we're going to move it into the Las Vegas site. Okay. And then I'm going to go into inter-site transports. Transport just meaning the way the, the data gets there and then inter-site between sites. Now you're not going to use SMTP as we discussed. You're going to be using IP. And right now we've got the Tampa Chicago site link. We can create a new site link and this new site link will be uh, Chicago and Las Vegas. Okay. And then we will choose the sites that are in the link. Click those sites, hit Add, and then hit OK. Now I'm going to go to the Tampa Chicago site and I'm going to take Las Vegas off of that. So basically now I've constructed something where the has to flow from Tampa to Chicago and then from Chicago to Las Vegas. Okay? And we've got a couple of site links. Now on the site links we've got various properties. The most important properties though are right here. Uh, the cost, which is just an arbitrary number used if there are multiple paths, the lowest cost would be, uh, would be used. The replicate every 180 minutes is the default value and that's the frequency or the interval which we will replicate. And then the schedule is the window of time. So we'll say in the case of, sorry, case of Tampa and Chicago, we want to have replication be available all the time because uh, that is a very high speed and reliable link. All right? And so that's fine. Now we, can, we may say, you know what, it's available all the time, we're going to replicate every 120 minutes, every 60 minutes. You probably don't want to do too much less than that uh, just because you can get a lot of traffic over that link. But Chicago Vegas, on the other hand, we're going to say we're going to replicate every 180 minutes, but we want to make replication in general not available. In fact, it's going to be available on the weekends, so we'll make it available there, and then it's only going to be available from the hours of 8 to midnight during the week. Okay? So just again, a sample of when replication might be available from Chicago to Vegas. And within that window of time, then it's going to replicate every three hours. Sometimes you might need to modify this. If your window of time, for instance, is only three hours, then I need to shorten that up so that it gives a couple of chances to replicate and it can replicate all the information. So we do need to keep those things in mind. All right? But those are the, uh, that's the way in which to configure the site links and to control the sites that are associated with the site link. And site links and those individual little properties and settings are essentially my way of controlling replication as it occurs between domain controllers in the organization that are in different physical locations.